We've given you a brief overview of how to tackle simple data cleaning challenges. However, really messy data can be difficult to clean up, so it's really important to avoid it when collecting your own data. So let's summarize the do's and don'ts. 1. Consistency. Keep things consistent. Make sure the spelling is the same and also don't use different terms for the same thing, like men and males. This is often a problem with surveys, so make sure if you do a survey that the answers are consistent. 2. Blank spaces. Make sure you avoid extra spaces, tabs and line breaks. 3. Formatting. Make sure your cells are formatted correctly. Numbers should be formatted as numbers, text should be formatted as text, currency as currency and so on. Don't use weird fonts and if you use color, make sure it's consistent and meaningful. Generally, format your spreadsheet so that it's clear and easy to use. 4. When you're examining your data, look out for outliers or data that is way off the norm. This might be an error. For example, if you saw that most people in a survey were between 10 and 50 years old, but one respondent's age was listed as 110, it might be an extra zero that was inserted accidentally. So double check. Sometimes you have really messy data that needs more complicated cleaning. There is a great tool for this called OpenRefine. OpenRefine is free, open source, specialized software for cleaning data and has great tutorials and an active community. If you'd like to try it out or need to do some more heavy-duty data cleaning, visit openrefine.org. At School of Data, we also have some great introductory tutorials for common data cleaning challenges using OpenRefine. You can access all this via our website, schoolofdata.org. We have also provided you with some of these links in the resources section for this course. We hope this introduction to cleaning data has made you familiar with what to avoid and given you some basic tools to tackle dirty data.